Hello and welcome to... What is this? <laughs> An NFT tutorial. Well, maybe it's more of a, like Andy shows how he's trolling people video, which is also fun, but maybe we'll learn a little bit about creating NFT collections here. We will see. But first I want to show you this. We get there, this. So earlier today, mm -mm -mm, I uh, made an announcement in my Discord group and I said, yo, I'm gonna release an NFT project called Crypto Andes. <laughs> and you know, like totally need that to uh, get access uh, or keep access to this Discord and mint price will be nine for whitelist and 10 for the public mint. I mean, 10 soul, come on. Who can't afford that, right? And uh, I, I posted a teaser as well and I, I got some fire. <laughs> some people were like, fire. Yeah. And then I also got some, what, what the fuck is going on here? And some people found that funny. I also find that funny. Yeah. In this channel, people were like, that's expensive, sir. <laughs> Nine soul. And, and to this guy, I mean... He, he is a helper in my Discord server, so I, I had to respond to him uh, that uh, obviously helpers and mods are excluded from whitelist. I mean, obviously. And then he got it. So so he he supported me. Yeah. And then people ask how they get whitelist. And of course, I, I told him what to do, you know, subscribe on YouTube and match me on Tinder and all that the good stuff. And then I, I sent you the tokens to a wallet that you provide me the seed phrase for. Don't ever provide seed phrases to anyone ever, ever is what I want you to learn here. This guy was like, wow, for 10 soul, I get unlimited project support. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I give you what you want. You just need to get one with an extra premium, which there is only like zero of them in the collection. So I was not trolling at all. Then people started to get that it's April 1st. So <laughs> yeah, but also in, in general chat, people were like <laughs> at least nine. So this guy got it real quick. It's a South American's year salary. Yeah, I mean, but the value guys, the value. And then uh, of course uh, also said that we'll totally do staking with definitely several thousand percent APY. Of course, we just inflated our token. That's so useless. Anyhow, I was totally tripping, as you can see. Yeah, I mean, but I, I, I think I provided good arguments. Like the Digit Ape Academy also minted at six sol. So I mean, nine sol isn't that far off. And then I made the announcement that, uh, yeah, guys, uh, I've just been trolling, and I got a few. I got, I got a few. Got them real bad. <laughs> Anyhow, point is there is some truth to that. I might actually do an NFT collection, but if I do, then it will definitely be a free mint. Yeah, and that art is also real. I got myself an artist to, to make them. And today she sent me the files. So let's actually have a look at what she produced. I'm still not sure about the C or the S, Andes, Andes. I'm just trying to make fun of crypto projects with using this. Anyway, let's, let's, let's use a normal S. So we have the folders for the individual things. Great, so we have folders with images. Now let's try and actually make a collection because you're not actually a Solana NFT fan if you didn't create your own collection. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I've heard that Hashlips has a tool, Hashlips Art Engine. I mean, that sounds good. That sounds about right. So today we're gonna learn how to use the Hashlips library. Step one, clone the GitHub repo, git clone. Clone it. You are using your, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let's go. Okay. Now, how do you actually use this thing? Priority weight attached. Okay. So we attach the weight with this hashtag and then the weight. You go through each of them, label them. It really doesn't matter what you put the weight in. It will just divide by the sum of all the weights. If you want to make it easy in your head to calculate, 
in percent, then you want all your weights to add up to a hundred and then you can define the weights in percent. So let's say if I have eight things here and I wanted to define it in percent, let's do this one is a rare one. Let's do, I don't know, 10. We call that a background. <laughs> Because it has A's in them. I would not usually name my files like that, but I want the traits to have the spaces in there. So so the attributes of the traits. So yeah. What color even is that? <laughs> Fucking hell. Let's say blue. I'm not the guy to name stuff. I'll do whatever. Oh, and that was just the first folder. God damn it. How can people create their own NFT collections? That's like normal eyes yeah consistency is important to me i'm a programmer god damn it i want to be consistent squinted eyes smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eye tightly closed there we have it tightly closed eyes well english is a great language isn't it maybe i remove the eyes let's be consistent and remove it everywhere big eyes kind of likes the... you know what fuck consistency that's how we do it this is how we do it. Now, usually I would label those files headband purple, headband underscore purple or something like that, such that all the headbands are together. But I want the names to sound good. So that's why they're all messed up in here now. It doesn't matter. And of course, the top hat. Let's call this one banana. <laughs> oh, this will not go with the background at all transparent <laughs> in my head they're the same thus we now have five which is easily divided by a hundred no the other way around a uh, hundred divided by five so all of them get 20 percent because then so see that's that's the easy way to go give them all the same lol so I could put them all to one or to a hundred. It doesn't matter. Here we do an example, right? Now they're all equally likely. If I liked one of them better, say I really like the pink one, I could be like, okay, this gets 25 and therefore, I don't know, one that should be more rare, the purple one, because it will mess with the background shall only get 15%. So now we have different values and it's still in percent. So this will be 15%, 25%, and then the remaining also always 20. Easy. Oh, great, we're done. Sweet. Now we can finally start up our hash lips. I put in the hash lips library here. And then here we see the layers. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is copy our layers here. Remove that. Insert that. Now to make it easier to work with, let's put the face with percentage 100. I could put anything here, it doesn't matter. Into a base and then we have them here, the layers. And now in the configure thing, name crypto Andy. He can lol. External URL. We'll do that at some point. Maybe. So now, first we want to create the art. Background, base, eyes, glasses, hair, mouth. Five, six, seven. Perfect. And then we need to sort them in the correct order, I think. So background at the back, that makes sense. Then the face, that makes sense. Then we put on, I don't know, the eyes before the glasses makes sense. And the outfit below the base even, I think. Just the hair, uh, they, they shouldn't interfere too much. So it should really be width and height. Good question. I have no idea what she exported them as. I really hope they're all the same size. Please be all the same size. Okay, looks good. 750. If the artist exports them in that size, then it will be reason for it, lol. Maybe it's just arbitrary. That's what we split them with. So if you split it with something else, you can change that here. Hashlips has a very weird way of calculating the uniqueness with a DNA and then how similar it is, how, it, how similar it's allowed to be. It 
I cap cut it here. I'm okay, that much for the configuration. So network dot solve. I'm gonna change that to solve. I'm pretty sure you need to define like a number as well. Oh, grow edition size two. That's probably the, the total number. I don't know, how many members do we have in the Discord? 800. So let's in the beginning start with 100. All right, and then we just start this. Yeah, this is pretty powerful what you can do here. So yeah, hashlib library is definitely more than we need. We just run build. Let's see. Seems to be creating something. Which folder is it creating that in? Build images, there we go. So build images. We should <laughs> Okay, something is clearly not working correctly yet. I mean, it looks like some things are not fully transparent and that sucks because then I will need to relabel them all again. But overall, I get a, I get a okay impression. I mean, look at that guy, for instance. I mean, it's almost like a proper, proper thing. Almost. And this guy as well, it's just that the background is gone. Hope it's a, we didn't configure hash lips correctly, because that would be easier to solve and involve less work, I hope. NPM run rarity. 12 of 100, 14 of 100, 18 of 100. So we see that there sh they should all have backgrounds. All of them should have backgrounds. Which means my artist fucked up. I should have tried this before renaming all of them. I mean, this also just looks weird. Okay, so we have the helmet, we have the glasses. They fit together so fucking well, lol. Artist says she's gonna fix that tomorrow. All right, I guess that's where we stop for today then. Cause I don't wanna continue with that shit. And I still wanna learn how I can combine things exclusively, like not allow, for instance here, not allow the eye patch with those eyes or I don't know. I mean, it's all a bit too much. I should do it more normal. That guy is just fucking eating a banana. <laughs> ah. Anyhow, I'll see you tomorrow.